So let me know what we did yesterday. Yesterday we have chance to understand. Yesterday we have chance to understand only one thing that is called as installation. How I can do the Oracle database installation, then how I can do the JDK installation, then how I can do the ODA 11G installation as well as ODA 12C installation. As for my guidelines, we can install ODA 11G as well as 12C both in the same CPU we can install it. Even though 12C is the higher version, you can install in the same PC. And also we got the clarity. And also we got the clarity. What is the last version available in the ODA 11G? The last version is 11.1.1.7. The latest version which is available in the 12C is as of now 12.1.3. 12.1.3 we, we did the installation then what next we have to go for architecture of the ODA 11c or ODA 12c whatever it is let us say I am going for I am going for architecture let us say ODA installation and architecture this was the architecture so this is actually corresponding to the 12c architecture but 11g also most of the things are same most of the things are same so I can treat this as a common common architecture for 11G and 12C. One or two differences are there. Those differences I will explain at the time of 12C whenever I am explaining it clearly. Now this architecture mainly divided into four tires. First tire is called as desktop tire. First tire is called as desktop tire. So first point what you need to say is architecture divided into ODA architecture divided into how many types it is it is four types it is four types the tire one the tire one is the tire one is what desktop type the tire one is what desktop type and as part of the desktop what is the first most component which is available here if you go and see a JVM Java WE application or ODA SDK. This part is common in this layer also. Suppose whatever he gave by default with ODA 11G, you are not happy with that one. You want to do some extra work, you want to do it. Then you can go and you can write your own software, you can write it. This is called as Software Development Kit. ODA SDK stands for Software Development Kit. And we have here the main component is ODA Studio. What is the main component? ODA Studio. Let us say the main component in the desktop is available that is called as ODA Studio. ODA Studio is the main component. And it is a Windows based component. What based component? Windows based component. That means we cannot open this component using URL. If you want to open that one, let us say start here. There you can go and you can observe all programs. If you install ODA 11G, then Oracle, then Oracle Data Integrator. There we are seeing here ODA Studio. ODA Studio. That is 11G navigation. If you want to go for the tool C, wherever you install the tool C, that location we have to go. In my case, I installed the tool C Oracle, then middleware then Oracle Home, then we have your ODA, then we have your Studio, there we have the 32 bit means we have to use this one, 64 bit means we have to use this one. So at this point of time, if you want to go for the ODA 11G, directly it is available in the all programs, here it is available, you can go and you can take it. So the Studio concept or this component is available in the 11G as well as in 12C also. If I click on the ODA Studio, let us say I am going to get one window, we are going to get it. 90% of your day-to-day -day activities, we are going to do using this Oracle Data Integrator Studio only. 90% of your day-to-day -day activities, we are going to handle using Oracle Data Integrator only. In this Oracle Data Integrator, if you go and observe here, I have, I have here, four navigators are available this is called as actually navigators ODA designer navigator this is what the designer navigator 
Next is what? Operator, navigator. Next is what? Topology. Next is security. So total four navigators are available. That's what we given here. Designer, operator, topology, security. So most of the cases we are going to work with these four things only. We are going to work here. So now I can say now ODA Studio. ODA Studio contains here how many parts are there? One is called as designer, 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 navigator. That's called as what? Navigator. And what is the next one? And second one is called as operator, navigator. And third one is called as what is that? Topology. Topology Navigator and fourth one is called as Security then Navigator Security Navigator. So these are the four navigators whatever available Designer Navigator, Operator Navigator, Topology Navigator then Security Navigator so under the tire one, there is a tire one is called as desktop tire. Under the tire one, we have the one component. Main component is what? ODA Studio is the main component. ODA Studio is the main component. Under this component, we have these are the four things are available. Four things are available. Now in the same tire one, we have here second one. The second one is called as what? Java Virtual Mission. That's what here JVM. We are seeing here one option that is called a Java W application and ODA SDK. Open tools for adding voice functionalities to any ELT or ETL job. So one is Java W application, second is ODA SDK. SDK APIs for Java generation of any ODA system metadata. So the second part of this one is what? ODA SDK using this one you can write your own uh, software kit you can write it this SDK stands for software development kit then next is available that's called as third one the third one is what Java double E then application application even though these two things are available mostly in most of the projects we won't use it mainly we'll use only one thing that's called as what ODA studio we are going to use it as as parts that is available, they, I, am, I am explaining it. But mostly we are not going to use these two things. We are going to use only this part only. We are going to use it. That's what the tire one, whatever available. The tire one is called as desktop. The tire one is called as desktop. Then next one. Let's go for next tire. That is called as tire two. The tire two is called as weblogic tire. Weblogic application server tire. So I can say now Weblogic Weblogic tire. Under this Weblogic tire, what are the things are available? What are the things are available? If you go and see those things, number one in this one is called as Enterprise Manager. Enterprise Manager. The Enterprise Manager is useful to configure your servers and all. For example, if I go here, there I have the interface manager. This interface manager is controlled by a server. The server is called as Weblogic server. Weblogic server. And also we have one more thing that is called as console is the one more component is available. Console also managed by Weblogic server. Weblogic server. And whatever we have here, whatever we have here or ODA things also we can integrate using Weblogic. Actually, Weblogic is a web server. It's common for Fusion middleware, all the components. Like OBW things you can configure in the Weblogic server. ODA things you can configure in the Weblogic server. SUA also you can configure in the Weblogic server. This is what? SUA also you can configure in the Weblogic server. So, Weblogic server is a common component. Common component. There we can find out OBW things, ODA things in those all things. In my case, if you see here, what is this? BA server. There is nothing but OBA server. What is this? ODA server. So, in my case, both I integrated or not? Both I integrated.
similarly if you go here and if you observe also there also you can observe oba and oda both are available it's trying to log in still once it's log in i can show that one once it is logged in, I can show that one. So at this point of time, you understand here two components are available. One is called as EM. EM stands for Enterprise Manager. Then second one is available. The second one is called as Console. What is that? Console. And anyhow, these two things are common. ODA, SDK, and Java WE application is common here also. So if you want to add those things, you can add those things. ODA. ODA, SDK, then ODA, SDK, then Java WE application. Now, remaining things are like Java WE agent. If you want to create, you can create. Yesterday, did you observe or not? At the time of installation, we are seeing one, one screen Java WE agent also. We saw, yes or no? But I asked you to don't select that one. I asked you to select only developer installation and standalone installation. These are the two things I asked you to select it. Why? Because if I select this one, it is expecting what server? WebLogic server it is expecting. As we are going with the standalone installation, right? Maybe WebLogic server is not installed in your mission. That's what I didn't ask you to select that one. Now, here some web services. It also supports the public web services and data services it is going to support. But mainly we are going to use these are the two things here. One is called as enterprise manager. Second is called as console. These are the two things we are going to use in regularly. That's what called as second time. And we have here let us say third time. Third time is called as repositories. Repository types. Third time is called as repository types. That tire is called as repository tires. We have here two repositories are available. One is called as one is called as what is this? Master repository. Master repository. So this is what the master repository. And under one master repository, under one master repository, you may have n number of work repositories. N number of work repository that is the reason here this is a one work repository and back end one more symbol back end one more symbol we gave so under one master repository you can have a number of what work repositories so that's what we are saying as we can have here a number of work repositories only one work under one master repository you may have a number of work repositories and these work repositories are again divided into two types these work repositories are again divided into two types one is called as development 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 work repository development work repository then second one is called as execution execution work repository this one mostly will use for the box called as development box i mean to say development enrollment okay or testing box testing box we are going to use it this one we are going to use for the box that is called as which box production box we are going to use that one production box we are going to use it okay now you people understand repositories are how many types of repositories are available two types of repositories one is called as master repository second is called as work repository and the master repository may contain here a number of work repositories and work repositories are divided into two types one is development work repository Second is execution work repository. Development work repository we are going to create for development box or testing box. Execution work repository we are going to create for production box. We are going to create for production box. Got it? Okay. That's what called as brief about the repository style. Then sources and targets. Here we have one word. Yes, Vicky. Master repository is 
mass repository is only one mass repository is only one okay right now next one is available here heterogeneous access what is the meaning of that our OBI, uh, sorry our ODA has capability to communicate with multiple databases you may have here let us say I have one legacy system called as mainframes I can take some of the tables from mainframes, no issues. And also I can take some of the tables from let's say DBMS, let's say Oracle. I can take from there. Also I can take some of things from the XML files, you can take it. So from multiple different databases, from multiple different databases, we are going to take the tables. That's what we are saying as what type of access? Heterogeneous access. What do you mean by homogeneous? Same database means it is homogeneous, different database means it is heterogeneous. So we can access from heterogeneous, I am saying here. Now, let us let us try to start more details with the repository. Before that, we need to write here third tier. Oh, sorry, fourth tier. What is the fourth tier? Sources, source, and targets. We are supporting homogeneous or we are supporting heterogeneous? We are supporting heterogeneous things, we are supporting it. We have no limitation. Almost all the databases which are available in the market, it is going to support it. It is going to support it. Okay. Now tell me, your architecture is divided into how many types? Four tires. First tire is called as what tire? Desktop. Second tire is what? Weblogic. Third is? Repositories, fourth is source and targets. If you want to talk some more things about the desktop, there what is a component? ODA Studio. ODA Studio again divided into four things, these things. And more, more we are going to talk at the end of the course actually. Let us say, what do you mean by designer navigator? We are going to learn it or not? We are going to learn it. What do you mean by operator navigator? What do you mean by topology navigator? What do you mean by security navigator? We are going to learn it. So, end of our course completion, we are able to talk more about each and every component, whatever I written here. Whatever I written here. At this point of time, at least try to remember the headings. Headings in the sense, Tire 1 Desktop, Tire 2 WebLogic, Tire 3 Repositories, Tire 4 Sources and Targets. The headings you have to remember. More about each one, whatever I written, you come to understand down the line. You come to understand down the line. Now, let us go and try to understand first tire that is called, I mean, my first tire is actually uh, desktop only, but my explanation is starting, my explanation is starting with the repositories. Uh, because whatever work you do, end of the day, the work has to store where? Some repository, right? That is the reason first time I'm starting with the repositories. First time I'm starting with the repositories. First point, Oracle Data Integrated Repository Oracle Data Integrator Repository is composed of one master repository and several work repositories. Several work repositories. Oracle Data Integrator Repository is composed of what? One master repository and several work repositories. I think Vicky asked this for the question. Sir, only one master repository is available? Answer is available here only one I am saying. Next, ODA objects developed are configured through the user interface. User interface is known as what? ODA Studio. That is nothing but our Tire 1, right? Our Tire 1. Configured, that means developed or configured through the user interface ODA Studio are stored in one of these repositories types. One of these repositories types. Whatever work you are doing, that work either storing in the master repository or storing in the work repository. Next, master repository stores the following information. What is that following information? Number one is called as security. Number one is called as security. If you go and try to open the ODA studio, let us say this is what the security. Temporarily, I am connecting with some repository. 
let us say I am connecting with the repository called as BA apps repository I am connecting I am connecting with one repository called as what BA apps repository connected now once it is connected if you go and observe in the security tab it's connecting it's trying to build the which which one designer that means this is what it's trying to build then it is building what operator tab then then security tab we got it if you go and observe here in the security what are the things we are going to do number one profiles we want to create one new profile you want to create it or you want to import from one enrollment to another enrollment okay that's how we are going to create it here BAE administrators are available and some other things are there next one more thing is available what is that users we can create it we have here BA apps is our user supervisor is our user BA apps system user is our user is available next we have here objects are available so many objects but overall what I want to say is security is nothing but security is nothing but composed of what profiles users objects these three together is called as what security what is the meaning of that one we come to understand more clearly later now next is available that is called as topology tab in the topology what you are going to do we are going to configure your database is what the database you are going to configure for example let us say oracle database we are going to configure here for example, let us say SQL Server database. We are going to configure here. Let us say Microsoft SQL Server. Or you want to configure, let us say Teradata. You want to configure. Then you can go and you can observe the Teradata. Whatever database you have in your mind that will be available here. Here, here these all things are called as what? Technologies and agents. Yesterday we created one thing standalone agent. We said right. The standard agents also we are going to configure so other agents also we are going to configure now now I can say if a topology topology is nothing but topology nothing but one thing is called as physical architecture then we have the context is available logical architecture then language is supporting generic actions even repositories also these all things together is called as what topology in topology whatever activity you do in security whatever activity you do those things are going to store inside one th one place that place is called as what master repository whatever we are going to do in topology tab or security tab that work is going to store in the master repository and come to the designer here in the designer we are going to do one thing that is called as version controlling what is that version controlling even though we are doing the version information in the designer tab still that is going to store in the master repository only so versioning information where it is going to store master repository only it is going to store it master repository only it is going to store it I clicked on this one it still it is opening it is open now let us say I am going to the mappings so many mappings are available let us say I am going for SILOS mappings then it's trying to expand here it's trying to expand suppose we are going for one of the mapping we are going this what the mapping if I right click on this one there we have an option that option is called as create the version or not if I create this version where it is storing in the master repository it is storing in the master repository it is storing that's what what I mean to tell here if you go and observe here security information information including users profiles and rights for the ODA platform whatever available those information is storing in the master repository then topology information including technologies server definitions schemas contests languages and so forth whatever we are seeing in the topology those all things are storing in the master next is what versioning information so totally we have here master repository storing here three things it is storing one is security related 
topology related then worsening related these three information is going to store in the master repository it is going to store it next what work repository stores the following information the work repository is the one that contains actual developed objects actual developed objects what is the meaning of here actual developed objects if you see here this all is our work actually this all is our work if i go and if i try to open this one then this is where we are trying to create our source target moving the data from oltp to olap moving the data from oltp to olap the actual work the logic everything we are doing using the designer tab only if i go to the your mapping tab what is the tab mapping tab there there you come to understand here let us say there you come to understand here see here look up look up look up n number of things we used it and we went for one big source is available from the source to what we are trying to get here we are trying to get here target we are trying to get it so actual work we are doing where main work we are doing where designer i can say percentage wise if i am talking percentage wise if i go and if i talk here 70 percentage of your life 70 percentage of the life we are going to do where designer year 10 year 10 year 10 okay so 70 percentage of our time we are going to spend with what designer tab designer tab is the main work area main work area rest of the 30 percentage we are going to spend each 10 percentage we are going to spend each 10 percentage we are going to spend okay that's what i am saying here question what is the question in the in in real time mapping is same develop big mappings means what is the wiki your question please try to uh, speak out please try to speak out sorry i am not able to hear you If your question is in real time also we are going to develop this for the mapping answer is yes whatever i am showing yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead what is the question yeah hello yeah yeah i'm able hello. to hear you i'm able to hear you so whatever we see this pattern in real time same mappings are uh, developed that's correct that's correct whatever i'm showing this mappings right these are actually out of box mappings out of box mappings these are developed by actually oracle guide developed ready to use ready to use forever front end sources are front end sources are like people soft sibel or oracle apps or jd edwards then directly plug and play plug and play these these things directly we are going to use in the real time this is what the big mappings that's it more than this we won't have very big mappings this is what the big mappings okay now let us move on to the next one so the work repository is the one that contains what actual developed objects several work repositories may coexist in the same ODA installation already I said here in your one ODA installation in one ODA installation we have only one master repository but n number of work repository example for development purpose one work repository for production purpose one work repository but how many master repositories are there only one master repository but several work repositories may be possible next two models including models models means what here if you go and observe here if you go and observe let us say and i have here one thing that is called as what models the models information the models information let us say your your thing is called as oracle e business suit in oracle e business suit we may have here some tables are available those tables we can go and we can see here so let us say some tables corresponding to the general ledger 
GL balances, GL budgets, these all are what? Some source tables which are available. Or something related to the ever payroll system. The payroll system, we have here some of the tables, pay actual brands, okay, like this, some tables are available. Okay, pay people groups, okay, uh, pay input value, save, these all things. These all things are what? Some table names, right? These all table names are storing where? Models. Model is storing where? Work repository. Only these two tabs are going to store in the master repository. These two tabs, whatever do you work, except versioning. Remaining all things are storing where? Work repository. In simple words, I can say, in simple words, I can say, here I have, let us say, master repository. Here, we are going to store security, topology. From here, only one thing that is called as what? Versioning information. What is information? Version information I am going to store here. Rest of all things, we are going to store inside one thing that is called as what? Work repository, which are doing using designer tab or operator tab. In designer tab, whatever work you do, or in operator tab, whatever work you do, the work is going to store in the work repository. One of the work what you are doing in the designer is creating the models that is storing here. Creating the projects that is storing here. Load plans that is storing here. Global objects storing here. Solutions storing here. Right. That's what I am trying to tell you here. Models information including schema definitions, data store structures and metadata. Field names, column definitions, data quality constraints, cross references, data lineage and so forth. If you go for one by one, including schema information, schema definitions. What do you mean by schema here? Is whatever I am showing here, this is schema or not? Payroll is what? One of the schema. Inside this one, we have one thing. This is what? Table. Table is called as here data store. Table is called as here what? Data store. In case of normal or database terminology, it is a table. In ODA terminology, table is called as data store. In ODA terminology, table is called as data store. Okay, next one is available. Next is what here? Structures, metadata, then field and column definition. Field means here, if I expand this one, there we have here one thing that is called as columns. What are the columns are available? And also we have here next one that is called as constraints. What are the constraints are available? Those all things are storing inside the work repository. Next one. Next one is what? <coughs> project information. In the project information, we have the packages information, procedures information, folders, knowledge modules, variables, and so forth. If you go and see here, yeah, this is what called as projects. Inside the projects, we can go and we can observe what is this? Packages, interfaces, procedures, and these all things are called as folders. And in the bottom of this one, we can also go and observe here, what is this? Variables, sequences, user functions, knowledge modules, and markers. We'll go for the details later. As of now, these all objects are storing where? In work repository. Next one, scenario execution. Scenario execution means if we go and observe here, load plans and scenarios here. Load plans and scenarios here. Is opening up. It's opening. Okay. Now, if you go and see load plans and scenarios, if suppose the scenario you ran it, you right clicked and you executed. You executed that information again going to store where work repository when the work repository contains only the execution information only the execution information then it is called as what repository execution repository design time information 
and execution information both are available that is called as development work repository only execution information is available that is called as execution work repository work repositories are how many types two types one is development work repository second is execution work repository only runtime information is available that is called as execution work repository i'll talk more about that one down the line okay let me know what is your understanding let me know what is your understanding as of now how many types of repositories are available as of now you understand tell me in oda in oda how many types of types of repositories repositories available available how many types two types two types what are those master second is work work is again divided into development development work repository then execution work repository development work repository execution work repository in master repository what is the information mainly storing what is the information mainly storing topology information then second is called as security information then third is called as version information version information next in work repository what is the information it is storing designer information then second one is called as operator information operator information okay now now this is what what you understand as of now right if you go for the more details the designer whatever you are doing like models projects these all things are parts of designer i mean a work repository okay let us move on to the next one that is called as oda studio and user interface already explained this one just for more understanding purpose again i given administrators developers operators use the oracle data integrity studio to access the repositories as for the oracle he divided employees into three types one role is called as what role administrator role second role is called as what role developer role third role is called as what role operator role who is called as administrator and where the way that guy is going to work way that guy is going to work administrator is going to work administrator is going to work on two things let us say one thing is called as on two things is going to work guess it what are the two things topology and security administrator is going to work on it admin now if i say operator if i say operator the name itself it is operator so where is going to work on that operator if i say developer if i say developer that guy is going to work where in the designer however developer sometimes is also going to work with the also going to work with the work with what topology so developer is going to work with developer is going to work with two things designer as well as topology operator is going to work with only operator admin is going to work with what security as well as topology but as for the oracle these are the three roles are available sir as for oracle these are the three roles are available but i saw most of the projects will not follow these three things most of the projects will not follow these three things maximum they will be able to give the billing maximum they will be able to give the billing only for two roles one is developer role second is admin role that's it some projects are available even even not even two roles only one role only that guy has to know designer has to know operator has to know topology has to know security so 
they are expecting customers are expecting nowadays a resource need to have end to end understanding of the oda if you say i know only how to develop the objects now you have to know the permissions also you have to know the adding the users also you have to know the running the objects you have to know the monitoring the objects you have to know the developing the objects development running and managing everything they are expecting development running and managing that's what my focus is to make here all the all the things you need to be you need to be 100 percentage how to learn here 100 percentage how to learn here that's what my goal okay now let us go and try to understand next point odi studio provides four navigators already you are aware of it or not for mappings for different aspects of this one those four navigators are these are the four navigators which are available designer operator topology security what you mean by designer navigator he is used to design he is used to design data integrity checks and to build the transformation to build what transformations so transformation is nothing but converting one form of data into another form is called as transformation for example if you go and observe here they are trying to do here some transformations they are trying to do here if you go and observe if you go and observe here carefully the mapping is done like this and and we are calling here some variable we are calling or not some parameter we are calling here and we are writing here some if condition we are writing or not we are writing here some if condition we are writing here so what i am trying to say is what i am trying to say is we are writing here some kind of condition we are writing or not this condition itself i can call it as one transformation what do you mean by transformation converting one form of data into another form is called as transformation as simple as i can say we have the first name is available last name is available in the source in the source what is there first name and last name is available in the source concatenating this first name and last name is nothing but what one transformation we have the distance is available in the miles because us terminology is miles that i want to convert into the kilometers that is india terminology we have here liquids are available let's say gallons those things i want to convert into the liters that is our terminology so the converting one form of data into another form is called as what transformation right here also we are trying to convert if delete flag is equal to y then y only otherwise and some logic i am doing here next one that's what the meaning of here design and navigate is used to design data integrity checks and to build the transformations okay even, even whatever i am showing this window where i went here designer only i went or not designer only i went and i opened the ever ever this one i opened i opened this interface i opened from here only i opened i opened this one from where from your own life opened it next operator navigate is the what purpose it is production management and monitoring tool it is designed for it production operators through operator navigator you can manage your mapping what you can manage execution you can manage what are the things are executing what are things are failed those things you can go and you can manage for example just go and try to observe morning for morning one batch is there actually that batch is completed let us go and try to see that batch what they did it if i connect here b222 batch okay i am going for the operator tab then we have here all executions what do you understand from here there are some things are ran or not and there are some things are failed or not so if it is failed why it is failed i want to know the reason or not i want to know the reason how we come to understand reason if i open this one there it is going to write here clearly what is the reason why it is failed here 
Why it is failed here? It's saying as there is no connection. Then those things I debugged. After that, we ran here at this time. So 11.07 is thrown the error. That one we debugged and is ran at the time of what? 11.09, we ran it. So this is the window where you are monitoring your status or not. Execution status we are monitoring. If anything is failed also, we are going to see the log. According to the error message, we are going to debug it. Then we are making sure our things are going in a proper direction. I hope I am clear what is the operator navigator, right? What is the main purpose? Execution is main, main, mainly in the production or not? Okay, development one or two times will be running for testing purpose. Testing involvement also one or two times are going to run it. Regularly are going to run where? In production. Okay, next one. Topology navigator is used to manage data describing the information systems, physical, logical architecture. If you go and see here, this is called as physical architecture. This is called as logical architecture. What is the meaning of that one? will be learning down the line. Now, and a number of technologies are available. These all things are called as technologies. Next one is available that is known as what? Security Navigator. It is composed of profiles, users, then objects. Profiles, users, and objects. Next one, first hand son is available that is called as creating master and work repository. Master and work repository. We'll try to do this one in tomorrow's class. Okay, today what we land? Only one point. What is the ODA architecture? ODA architecture. Then in that architecture, we went for thought tire, that is repository tire, and we land one by one point, we land from that, right? So walk through this one today, and tomorrow we'll go for next hands on one. And tell me how many people completed the installation part. Ex yesterday I explained the installation, right? Completed anyone? Not even tried? Yes, online folks. Did you have a chance to complete it? If not, please try to complete at least today. Tomorrow onwards you require that installation. Why? Because tomorrow we are starting with what? Hands on one. Hands on one, if you go and observe here, there is a, there is a need of need of what S system otherwise we cannot practice this one till today we went all the three points only tomorrow onwards we need the system the reason at any cost try to complete today itself the installation if you don't know take help from the admin your Karen also can do it poor now two members are available admin these two members can help you how to do the installation okay right thank you tomorrow we'll meet